Some people say, Zachary, we don't like watching your long videos. This one's for you. Speed run! Better put a hat on, that don't look good. That's better. Today we're tasting Guatemala Antigua. Antigua has cocoa and subtle spice. It's elegant and refined with layers of unfolding flavor, notes of lemon, chocolate, and softing spice. You guys, this comes from 100 year old volcano farms in Guatemala. I really want to go see these volcano farms, but I'm excited to try this coffee. So let's try it first. Wait, wait, smell. I always forget. <clears throat> Must be what volcano smells like. It smells like soot, but very good coffee flavored soot. Let me get another. Don't know if I used enough coffee. Tastes weak. Weak! Huh. There's like a little subtle nothingness going on, but I'm trying to break three minutes. So I better try it with the brownie. It goes good with the brownie, by the way. So let's give this a go. Bye bye, New Year's resolution. By the way, I don't think I've tried the brownie on the show before. Brownie's good. So chocolatey. So decadent. Mmm. When you combine the volcano water. That is this coffee with the chocolate brownie. <sighs> That's good. But you can probably pair anything with the with the brownie to be honest. I can't really pick anything out. I probably shouldn't have ate the brownie so quick because now all I can taste is chocolate. And it makes the coffee taste delicious. So we're all being said. Let's write it down. I should already have it turned to the page. Should already turn it to the page, Zachary. I discovered that this coffee comes from volcanoes. Not just any volcanoes captain insano volcanoes that is because this coffee shows no moisty on my taste buds actually just kidding it showed a lot of, uh, it showed a lot, there we go, it's been a while since I've been in school, it showed a lot of mercy, because it doesn't have a strong flavor profile. Those volcanoes are weak sauce, weak sauce, and that's why people farm them because they are too weak to kill people. I was expecting a uh, Mount Vesuvius type flavor, flavor, as they say in Italian, but instead I got Dodge Ridge. But silver lining. Dodge Ridge is still good to learn. 8 out of 10 for such a 
mellow and soft taste. Yeah, that's actually really good. I'm going to change it to 9 out of 10. Because there's nothing that jumps at you. But it's actually like, now that I rethink about it, no acidity. I honestly believe we could serve this one as our everyday roast. And it would probably be just as good as pike. That's good stuff. 9 out of 10. Done. Man, that took 7 minutes. Whatever. That's all one take, baby. I look like an idiot the whole time, too. One week later, let's see if the house still tastes good. Yeah, <clears throat> it's delicious. 